Hello, Captain, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a question or a comment on YouTube or The Mothership on a Wednesday, and one week later, I'll do my best to give you a shout out or answer the question. Well, it looks like overcast and rather pensive today for the Capricorns. That's because the focusing planet of emotion, the moon, is now transited in front of the Virgo constellation. That means you'll be emotionally learning today and tomorrow and processing your emotions as it relates to your philosophy or your religion or your beliefs. So you feel a certain way and then you compare it to how you believe life should be or shouldn't be or should be manifesting. This is that transit where we tend to replay conversations that we've had with people in the last 30 days, only this time we have the perfect comeback. This is you examining your feelings and how you feel about your feelings. And this will be kind of a spaced out transit that lasts about two days, just to underscore it. But today I think you're also feeling sharp at the same time. It's a weird polarity because your ruling planet, Saturn, is ruling the sun today. So whenever Saturn rules the sun, as you probably know, it's time to make a decision. The topic, of course, is for Capricorns, will you or will you not believe in yourself, despite empirical evidence? That's what Capricorns have been fighting for 12 years to really go forward. Will you have faith in yourself? Will you believe in yourself? And will you believe in yourself even though the world says you're wrong? That's really hard for Capricorn, and I think that's part of the lesson. So this really comes down to simply making a decision and cutting away the old crap and saying to yourself, I'm not going to let myself torment myself with this anymore. I'm not going to let these voices play in my head anymore. I'm just going to believe and see if the world knocks me down. And of course, it won't because reality follows. Then finally for our shout out, it goes to Faru20, that's the best way to pronounce it, who's on YouTube. Now she has a complex situation. She's married to a Taurus. He has a cancer mother, so she's a cancer mother-in-law. He cheated before the marriage and she's just confused all to hell. Well, let me tell you what my basic simple design is. For one, you probably need a full reading on this one, but I'll summarize it as quick as I can. For Capricorns, remember, Pluto's moving into your sign, so your ego and your defenses are antiquated. The way you defend yourself, the way you put yourself out there is going to change in the next 16 years, so your natural reaction to this is probably wrong. Now, Cancer, on the other hand, has the, is your opposite sign. Cancers are antiquated when it comes to how they relate to people, so the way your mother-in-law is relating to her son and you is most likely wrong. You're both opposite signs. So at the end of the day, you need to be a little bit more like your mother-in-law and she needs to be a little bit more like you. So this is probably a karmic situation. And talking about the Taurus who recently admitted to having an affair before the marriage, well, there you may have some good news. Taurus has just spent the last 12 years working on intimacy and that ended on Thanksgiving. The fact that he came forward with this means that he's working toward being intimate with you and having an open channel. He's done with sex and intimacy issues for the rest of his life now. So probably this is a good thing. I'd probably trust him another cycle at least. All right, that's all we have for today's horoscope. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So